present some highlights from the work that we did with the Barcelona group, uh, mainly with Cristina, who's not here anymore, and with Luis. And uh, it's about, um, as Anna said before, to make GF uh, uh, more robust and also to build a hybrid system uh, that aims to get the best of both worlds from IBM T and SMT. So, um, oh, I started with the end. Uh, Okay, uh, wait a bit, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I don't know why this happened, uh, okay, you should do it, huh, uh, it's okay, um, we'll, we'll start with, um, well, repeating some things about the Monto project that aims to scale up GF in uh, terms of coverage, um, of, well, this, this is what we are um, aim for in the talk. And um, for this, um, we have a um, rule-based um, machine translation baseline, which is mainly based on GF. Um, and uh, it's also not a pure grammar, because it has a lexicon extension on the fly, based on the SMT translation tables. So even the baseline, in order to be compatible on an open domain, uh, it has to, uh, it needs some extra things there, and also an SMT baseline uh, adapted on patent. Um, so um, the, the SMT that we have is um, a state-of-the-art system based on MOSES, and that uses all the um, other uh, state-of-the-art tools for alignments, translation models, and so on. And um, it, uh, it's worth mentioning that we did the evaluation with the ASEA um, system, that is also developed in Barcelona. And uh, uh, for this, we had a corpus of, um, of patent claims from the biomedical domain, available in uh, three languages, in English, French, and German. And uh, it's a fairly large um, set, um, I would say. And you can see the figures there. And we used the larger part for training and the smaller part for testing. And um, in case you're curious how the claims look, uh, some examples will follow. So they, they have a specific style and uh, they are full of specific vocabulary from chemistry and compound names. So um, like you will see. Also um, impossible to read. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. Uh, so uh, the, these are the um, well, basic patterns that the claims follow. So I tried to, to use the process or the method according to some claim. Um, these are called dependent claims, wherein, and then something. And, oh, okay, uh, very good, but uh, it's not just this. It's also a lot of words that uh, are not so likely to be found in a general purpose dictionary, as we found uh, out the hard way. So all these uh, uh, well, biology terms or chemical terms, and also we have compounds, uh, which are an interesting problem on their own, because uh, it's clear that SMT alone cannot translate them due to the long distance dependencies. But on the other hand, in order for the grammar to translate them, we need a specialized grammar just for compounds. And uh, also, uh, there are very long sentences, so this is one claim. Uh, Okay, it's a bit uh, above average, uh, but, it's quite <laughs> <laughs> but it's still quite long. And also, they have a uh, uh, missing. Uh, they have some slots there where some you know, where the image of formula would belong. Um, and uh, so, uh, moving on, uh, we present the basic results of the SMT baseline. Uh, so, um, according to the Blau score, which is the most um, well. Um, most popular, if I could say so, score, and also comparison with the main uh, competitors, uh, which are being Google and, uh, yeah, versus the domain. And one can see that the um, domains um, adapted the SMT uh, obtains better results on all the six uh, language pairs, but um, actually we, if, uh, we're more interested uh, in the direction from English to German and to French because it's easier there to make a clear improvement from the morphological point of view 
since it's expected that, uh, okay, this Google uh, does better when translating from morphologically rich languages into English. And uh, then some, some more metrics, uh, starting with the um, English-German pair, and uh, one can see that the uh, baseline SM team uh, obtains better <coughs> results on all the metrics from the RCR toolkit. And, uh, Sorry, I have yes? a question. When did you do your experiments? Um, I think uh, at the beginning of the year. Okay, because Google has improved their uh, translation system using patterns there in uh, February. Mm -hmm. Yes, the deviation was before that. Yeah, so maybe you now Google has improved it. Yeah. Uh, actually, when we will have the hybrid system available for English, the English-German pair, then we will redo the experiments with uh, the new Google as well. But um, this is actually based on some work that we finished before the 1st of March. Uh, so, uh, why such good scores? Now, there are some examples uh, of how, uh, how the systems uh, behave uh, on uh, well, ordinary claim. And uh, then you can see it, uh, some typical problems like the um, long distance dependency with the verb um, that in German comes in the end and uh, Google places it uh, wrong or uh, and even the SMT could forget it uh, altogether. And um, Go back one. The only difference between, between the Bing and the, your system is the capitalization of use? Um, or the no, it seems that uh, Bing uh, translates, um, well, uh, considers that this is use instead of the use. Ah, oh, right, is so the the isn't yes, part of the translation. Yes, okay, like, okay, like yeah. here it is, it's yeah. uh, So, um, and now for compound, uh, it, it's quite uh, hard to get it right, actually, by any statistical <coughs> system. And uh, the, this is how the systems do. And uh, also, it seems hard to tokenize and get the um, constituents right. Um, and uh, yeah. Did you did you translate the cont uh, the compound without any context? Um, yes. Um, at least. Um, well, I mean, not not here, but um, well, when we did the grammar for yeah. compounds, uh, we had the shallow grammar that looked for the functional components like uh, acid, mm -hmm. ester, and then because it's mainly this that change in translation, yeah. the, the rest stays. But this is the um, performance of the SMT system. Yeah. That just, uh, it's yeah, just interesting that you have the opposite problem to usual with Google, in that you have a verb in the sentence where it shouldn't be. Oh yeah, and The usual thing is that you, you lose a verb. <laughs> here it appeared. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, I'm not sure what, uh, how it appeared actually here. It could have been from the whole sentence and then yeah. Uh, well, uh, and uh, the same we did for French, uh, some uh, similar data that we got. Um, and then, uh, as a general, uh, some general remarks, uh, that Google has the problems with compounds, <coughs> that we know this already, uh, being lacks specific vocabulary, but um, basically the, the problem with the compounds is also shared with the SMP. And one thing that we could improve on is also the um, uh, morphological um, errors uh, given by translating from English into a richer language where the SMT doesn't really, um, how to say, uh, preserve the right dependencies, especially the long distance ones. And this is uh, why we want to use GF. And um, the, the basic system um, is um, uh, relies on a, a specific grammar that um, is built by extending the resource grammar with some uh, structures that um, we found in the patent claims and um, then to just go the GF way, parse with the grammar and then linearize into the other language. Um, and, um, but however, um, the, it turned out to be, um, I won't go into the test, that such grammar is either uh, not uh, well, wide enough to cover all the uh, claims or too ambiguous to handle, and in some cases both. So um, we decided to limit the, the coverage from uh, complete claims to chunks. 
and uh, then we have uh, a system that works like this. So from uh, uh, the claim, we chunk into the main uh, chunks uh, uh, that I will explain later. Then we try to parse each of these. Um, we get a number of trees that we disambiguate um, based on the statistical frequency. Then we get a tree that we linearize into French. And in case we can't pass even the chunk, then we use the SMT. And we get a number of translated chunks in French that uh, we feed into the Moses system in the phrase table. And then the Moses system will choose the most likely translation. And uh, in order to do this, um, we also need to enrich the grammar with the words that we find so that our hybrid system won't have the same problem as Bing that uh, didn't have enough, um, um, well, didn't have the right words for making the translation. Um, that's why we build the vocabulary on the fly by post tagging the English claims and then adding those words and uh, adding their translation with the French um, or French-English lexical tables. And we do the tagging with Genia and also the chunking. And Genia is a post tagger trained on the biomedical domain. So our empirical measurements show that it um, gives the best results out of all the taggers available. And um, uh, the words, we don't add them as they are, but we lemmatize them with the Jeff English lexicon and same for the French, um, with the French lexicon that we have. And uh, in this way, we build uh, the lexicon of the grammar on the fly. Do you only uh, have Patents in history, or is it a lot of people? Uh, no, they're just biomedical patents. And um, for the chunks, uh, as I said, we consider a uh, number of chunks, and the main ones are MP, LP, uh, PP, uh, VP, and then relative pronouns like wherein. Um, and um, one can also notice that the VP, RP, and uh, adjectival phrases need to agree with something because they, they are not standalone uh, but they depend on the uh, agreement of a noun <coughs> and for this we need to also pass noun before so that we make the agreement properly and uh, uh, in the end we need to merge this, this chance and an example how it works uh, is on this simple claim uh, the use of claim 1 where it said use is intramuscular then we run uh, the or Genia and to get some post tags and also some chunks that look in this way. They show where the chunk starts, its type and where it ends. Um, and also it performs some sanity checks that uh, are meant to eliminate the errors that we could get from the Genia chunker and uh, then we get something that is more similar to what we expected. Like, um, for example, let's see. The wherein is not considered to be a relative pronoun, but it's a preposition, and it's clearly that we didn't want that. Um, then said, which is more like a definite article, it's kind of D. Uh, it's considered to be a verb, and it begins with P, so this is not what we want to do. And then the sanity check will um, well, restore the, the right labels that we expect in the next step. And um, then, uh, Otherwise, the grammar is basically the resource grammar with some, um, a couple of, uh, well, um, two dozen constructions that occur in the patent claims. And um, well, in order to disambiguate the number of trees that we get, um, we use um, frequency counts in the corpus. Um, so it's basically a shallow uh, disambiguation based on uh, how many different linearizations of these three you get and then you look for which one of them occurs more frequently. Uh, and uh, the coverage um, of complete sentences, um, well, well, according to this grammar, is only 7%. And uh, while it's no wonder, uh, considering how uh, syntactically complicated the claims, uh, most claims are, and also 33% on the chunks. And uh, why, why the limited coverage, you might ask? Um, well, first of all, because we don't uh, handle any punctuation and similar, um, you know, which are quite uh, a lot of chunks, really. Um, then um, uh, there, there is actually a smaller number of chunks that cannot be passed, and um, uh, an equally number, equally 
small number of chunks that can't be translated because the lexicon is incomplete due to the fact that we couldn't build on uh, more than 60% of the lexicon in French because of the lexical um, tables and how they, um, how they act at this stage. Um, and also, uh, only 1.1% can be translated because we lack an MP and can't translate the dependent uh, chunk. Um, so, um, the, for the hybrid, uh, what we want to achieve is that uh, the RSMT alleviates the RBMT flaws and uh, rule-based MT can alleviate the flaws of the SMT, which is basically to get the, both of, uh, the best of both worlds. Um, like I said, uh, the, the, verb, uh, the problem of the verbs in German, which is long distance dependency, we want to not lose that on the way, uh, as um, SMT does, and also the reordering, and not to mention the gender and number agreement, which is already taken care of in our current system. Um, so, um, like in this example. Um, and uh, for, um, for the architecture that we considered so far, there are um, a number of um, uh, branches that go from here. And uh, the first one is the hard integration that uh, forces the GF translated chunks into the SMT system. So um, if a chunk can be translated by GF, then this translation will be kept no matter what, and the SMT only tries to translate the rest. Um, then the second one is the soft integration led by SMT. So everything is fed to Moses uh, with some probabilities, and then Moses will pick the most likely one, could be GF or the um, <coughs> SMT. And, um, uh, another soft integration led by GF that um, complements the SMT option, uh, complements with SMT the GF translation. Um, okay, so um, uh, we start with the last one, and it's worth mentioning that the GF baseline, as I said, it's already a hybrid with SMT. So the, this is our uh, most basic baseline that we want to improve on, and uh, it's. Um, and you can see here where SMT comes in place in order to translate the lexicon and um, also to disambiguate. Um, the, um, the second uh, version where SMT includes uh, GF translations, um, so um, uh, also Moses will reorder the chunks and uh, translate the untranslated chunks like before and um, a proportion of chunks as they are handled by both the grammar uh, system and the SMT uh, is uh, here. Uh, we see that, um, well, um, for verbs, the grammar parsed, uh, parsed very few, but it did well for nouns and adjectives and also for relative pronouns. And, uh, but overall, the grammar translated one-third and SMT still translated two-thirds of the chunks. And uh, an example of how this looks is the claim is uh, split into chunks, then all of these are um, tried to be uh, translated with the grammar, and some of them can't, like at the same time, this can't be parsed for some reason, and uh, it will be kept as it is, uh, so that the grammar, uh, that the SMT system can take care of it. What do you have as the as a uh, adverb? The Does adf mean adverb? Uh, yes, uh, well, I guess uh, Junior parsed it like that. I would have made that a. Uh, I. Um, oh, okay, this is because you have the tagging error with said me uh, yes. medicament. medicament. Um, I, I'm not sure if it, this is a recurrent problem because. Uh, I don't think that as though is very frequent in the corpus, though. but if it could I, be more. Ending, uh, ending a chunk with the seems a bit strange. Yes, <laughs> but uh, well, if it's really frequent, then we can put one more rule in the yeah. sanity check. But um, otherwise, um, it's just an unfortunate example. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, uh, then um, maybe I'll go faster on this and uh, show how the translation tables look, and then they have some probabilities. And um, 
uh, here, uh, it's uh, this is the one from GL, uh, which has the probability given by the method that we choose to integrate the two systems. So I can have probability one for the height integration, and then it will be chosen all, all the time, or it can have a low probability, and then it could still be uh, well uh, competing with the SMT. How do you calculate probabilities? translation probability? Um, it's in the integration method. So um, uh, we had some empirical uh, figures and then uh, tried them against the blow scores and the other metrics. And um, I have some slides a bit later. Uh, yes. Um, so it seems that with 0 0.5, um, the in a soft integration 0 0.5, where the GF chunks have 0 0.5 probability, this uh, maximized all the scores. Um, well, um, most so, of so them. So all GF ones have the same probability? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I guess it's up to the language probability. So. And, um, oh, well, uh, it reported uh, uh, a slight, uh, slight improvement in some places over the baseline, and uh, at least with blow, I think. And, um, yeah, so it seems that this is the uh, from the automatic metrics point of view, it's the most uh, successful integration, the 0 0.5. And also we have some uh, human evaluation and an example of a translation. Uh, and here you can see uh, uh, how the systems work. Um, so, um, <coughs> yeah, well, the basic point is here, the morphological error given by the agreement. Um, and how they compare to the reference translation. So the um, hard integration that um, it keeps the GF, the soft integration is 0 0.5, which is more similar to the SMT and the uh, reference. Uh, and um, it, in conclusion, uh, we um, the best performance, as I said, is obtained with the soft integration, but it's not the end of the road, so to say because there are more ways of um, uh, integrating GF and SMT. And uh, this is the preliminary uh, results that we obtained from English and French, but we are working on the same experiment with German, and hopefully there uh, the differences will be even more visible, because German is more syntactically and morphologically complicated than French. And uh, also we're investigating different architectures that are led either by GF or SMT, and um, hopefully um, will do uh, get more conclusive results in the end. And uh, I also have a poster from the European Machine Translation Conference where we participated um, la uh, two weeks ago, um, and um, okay. Uh, Maybe while you ask some questions, I could get it working. Um, anyhow, um, it, most of it is in the slides. Thank you. Do you have questions? Well, I, I only would like to add that I am pleased that your results are quite compatible with the, one, the ones I obtained by having fresh pairs coming from a virtual root. The most in the color because I also let the most system to the which price use either they come from from the parallel corpus and from the and I also obtain uh, good results for for finding it. So it seems to be a happy way of uh -huh. oh, it's well, good to know that the other directions converging. Victor, uh, how did you calculate the translation probabilities, did you just choose one number or? Uh, no, I, I let Moses uh, compute them. Uh -huh. So I added the, the phrases coming from Abertum to the list of corpus extracting press pairs okay. and let the Moses score them by relative frequency as it usually does. Okay. In addition, I added a binary picture function which yeah. states uh, whether the phrase comes from a person or from Moses. As usually, uh, a person coming from, phrases coming from the corpus have higher frequencies. Yeah. And 
because I only add a value of this one. So, yes. so in future functions, try to compensate this yeah. three difference. That might be something worth trying. Yeah. For the GF. So, uh, yeah, the, the, this is the um, evaluation that we did um, according to the um, automatic metrics from the ICR tool and also with human testers that, uh, mm, uh, well, from here it shows a clear um, improvement that the uh, hybrid system does over the SMT because it's um, 33 for hybrid, 15 for SMT, but also it shows that um, uh, at least 70% of the sentences that we wanted to test on were actually translated in the same way by both. But the ones that were different showed um, that um, at least the humans favored the hybrid system. And then another example. And uh, it's actually a lot more to say, but since it's uh, so little time, I will stop here. Unless there's some question. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, the Genia Tiger, what, what others did you try? Mm -hmm. Uh, that, or were there others that were alternatives? Uh, yeah, we tried the Stanford post dagger for one, uh, and then I, I don't remember if it was not dagger, but at least the Stanford post dagger did uh, very bad results compared to what we were expecting. Um, compared to Genia, that well handled better all these um, um, biochemical terms and the structure of the claims. Uh, Although it wasn't trained on claims, but it was trained on the biomedical domain. And I guess this showed the difference. But um, actually, it would be even better to have a post or uh, and junker based on GF, because then one could go not from English to another language, but from any language to any language. But this is which one.